Okay, so with the, the confusion of the linearization of data, I'm going to go over it again. So um, I'm just going to short little video on how to do this. Uh, first, you need to know when you need to linearize your data. Now, first off, what is linearis linearization? It means that the plotted graph is a straight line. So basically, if you plot your original data and the line is already straight, and the data is already straight, it's already linearized. So you aren't going to need to actually linearize it. Hence, in the explanation, in your guys' notebooks, if you get to that point and it's already a straight line, you skip linearization. However, if your data is not linearized, then we are going to need to linearize it. Now, how to linearize your data? You start by comparing your graph relationships. So, to do this, you will basically you'll look at your homework, that last page in the homework packet that you can find on Edmodo, or you'll look actually at the link that I've given you in this uh presentation that I will make available. I will also put the link in the, in the comments below. Once you find the relationship that best fits your graph data, then you're going to actually replot your graph. And here's where it gets a little bit confusing. So let's take an example from what we did with our noodles lab. And let's actually plot this. And what we'll see is I'm not going to actually plot it in detail, but what we'll see is that this will end up, end up giving us a line something in the, in the range of this. We'll end up with a straight line, something looking like that. Now, emphasis here is this is a straight line. So this right here, that's a straight line. So if we look at our relationships that we see here, we'll notice that this one right here is the one that best fits that situation. And what we want to focus on is we want to focus on this formula right there. Okay, So that formula, y equals mx plus b, is the importance here. But in this situation, it's a straight line. So we don't need to do anything because this is already linearized, if you remember back from what I said in the beginning. So because it's already linearized, there's nothing we need to do. But let's take this one. Now, if we graph this one, we're going to end up with a curve that looks a little like this. Okay. Once again, I'm not doing it exact. If you were to plot this out, you'd see it. So if I come to this graphing relationship page that we have that is online. And I will also actually post this picture online so you guys can see it in our um, information folder in Edmodo. Now, we'll notice that it doesn't fit this one. It doesn't fit this one. It doesn't fit this one. But this one right here looks exactly like it. I mean, there you go. So, if that's what matters, then that means this is the equation that matters here. And if we look, if we look just to the left, and this is where I made my mistake in class, we look just to the left, y is going to stay the same, but x is going to be squared. So what does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? That means when we go back to this data over here, okay, we go back to this data over here, and if we look at this, these are the numbers that are going to change. So the x value is going to change. All right, so what will happen is the y's will remain exactly the same. What's going to happen is the x is going to change. And if we go back and we look at our equation right down here, all right, that, that equation right down there, okay, we're going to do what to the x? We're going to square it. So let's go ahead and we're going to erase all of this. And we remembered it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm not going to, normally you wouldn't erase it. You would just have it right next to it. So what happens to the 1? The 1 becomes a 1. The 2 becomes a 4. The 3 becomes a 9. The 4 becomes a 16. The, tw uh, the five, be uh, 5 becomes a 25. And the 6 becomes a 36. Now, in this situation, I should have picked some different numbers um, for the simple fact of the matter that, you know, they end up lining up. But And in, so in this case, we're going to end up with a line like this. But importantly is it's straight now. Okay, that is a line. It is a straight line. It's going to be linearized. Okay, actually, it's not going to be like that. It's more going to be like that. Okay, and the numbers are, they're the same in this situation because I did exactly that, but I did just square the numbers. But what you can see is you still have the same Y's, as you can see right here, but the X's changed. So the Y's were, same, were the same there on the right here. Okay. But let me get let me go with a different color. Um, there we go. 
go with that color. But the X's, you'll notice, have changed. Okay? So the X's are now, t are now different. So when we linearize the data, it's not the Y value that's going to change necessarily. It's whatever it is in this, in this entire, uh, this page here, if you will. Okay? Because if we take this and we look at all these, all right, if I have a straight graph, it's already a line, and y is equal to b, or y is constant, th th there's actually no modification that's required, because you can see that right here. To linearize it, there you go, with a straight line on this one right here, same thing, okay? It, it's the exact same thing. There's, it's already a line. You don't need to do anything, all right? So, but if you look down here, if we have a, a, a graph that looks like this downward slope right there, then we're going to want to graph y versus 1 over x. So the x will change, the y will not. In this fourth one here, this incline, this, this exponential that we have, in this case, x is squared. Okay, So that means it's not 1 over x, the x is going to get squared. And then if you take the final one, this is the one case in which the y will change, but if you'll notice, in a situation like this, the y will change, but the x will stay the same. So if you were to go back to our data here, in this situation, the x's will change right here. Or excuse me, the, the x's will stay the same. The y's, we would have ended up squaring. Okay? Hopefully this makes it a little bit more uh, clear. And if you have any questions, just submit a question on Edmodo, and I will do what I can to help you out. All right? Thank you.